Okay, I'm reaching out to you overclockers out there. I am, shall we say, a very novice at overclocking. Um, so I've got an i7-4930K, and I was running it at uh, 4.125 gigahertz. And I got 32 gigabytes of 1600 RAM. So it's not the most cutting edge, but I like the extra, I like the six cores. So I was, uh, it's because I do things like developing and I'll fire up uh, Hyper-V and run multiple VMs and I, I want more cores. I'm really looking forward to AMD coming out with some really high core processors, but that's a different question. Yesterday I was just fired up my PC and it comes up, it's starting up, and you get the funny little pixelated stripe across the screen and the system reboots. And that immediately tells you something bad is going on. And it comes up and it said overclocking failed. Now I have an Asus motherboard. I'd have to look it up, but this is, I'm in a hurry this morning. And yes, this caused me some angst, shall we say, this morning. So um, it didn't come up and it came up and then crashed and various things like that. So I finally got back into the BIOS and uh, cranked my speed back down. So it, it's, uh, uh, I am not an expert at tweaking, but I, uh, the BLK, BLCK went from one, 125 to 100. I, like I said, I, I'm poking blind at this stuff. I'm doing very little with this. I'm trying to get it back down to running at normal speed because of this. Um, should I be worried? That's my question. Uh, nothing had changed on the system. I don't think it had even been moved, really. I'm, when I get back, um, I'm going to Balticon today, which was... Uh, Buccaneer was the 1998 when Balticon was actually the World Science Fiction Convention. I have my old 19-year-old t-shirt on. I'm heading to Baltimore uh, to go to Balticon. So um, that's why I was leaving out early this morning. But my question is, is, is this common? I've seen some arguments that it may be the, the battery on the, the motherboard, maybe something else causing that. I'm just looking for some suggestions from you hardware folks. What um, should I be looking for on uh, as problems with my PC if you get the overclocking failed from your Asus motherboard? So uh, please give me some comments. Uh, I would appreciate that. I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do. And uh, thank you for watching my video.